the frigid top of the world, hundreds of men and women congregate to learn more of their capabilities and a state of the world's northernmost. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Fluctus Channel. On today's feature, we will explore the biennial ice exercise, or more popularly known as ISEX. Greetings from Ice Camp Sargo. I'm Admiral Fritz Rogge, Commander of the Pacific Submarine Force. I'm uh, you know, calling in from uh, about 73 degrees uh, north latitude uh, with this evening's weather report. It's about uh, 20 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Uh, fortunately, there's not much wind, so uh, wind chill is uh, no worse than about 30 degrees below. In my native Minnesota, this constitutes a balmy spring day, and uh, we're all enjoying a, a great experience uh, here at the ice camp. Conducted over a period between three to five weeks, the United States Navy, along with other services, nations, and allies, assess their operational readiness to maintain the region's stability through the exercise. The U.S. submarines have been operating in the Arctic for decades, and the submarine force is expected to play a large role in protecting the U.S. sovereign at the cap of the world. For more than 70 years, the Navy's underwater fleet has conducted under-ice operations in the Arctic, including inter-fleet transit, training, cooperative allied engagements, and routine operations. It is no wonder that the Arctic Submarine Laboratory becomes the focal point for submarine operations in the Arctic. As well as the liaison between civilian scientists and submarine operations. Approximately 100 Arctic exercises have been completed to help the boat crew remain sharp at the Arctic undersea. The submarines that usually travel near the surface are exposed to rigid sea ice hazards that can damage the submarines. Good shot. You guys are directly behind us. The four of us are While some ice straightened submarines can surface through ice that is more than nine feet, some can only penetrate through less than three feet of ice. <laughs> The crews need to locate areas with thin ice to resurface the submarine during emergencies or to communicate during missions. The acoustic of sea ice plays a vital role in the submarine's survival. It helps to shield the submarines from enemy detection, but they also help in submarines' navigation by bouncing off the emitted sonar. This is also critical in locating the enemy's submarines, as well as obstacles along their path. This was proven during the Cold War, when submarine operations were crucial in strategic defense for both the United States and the Soviet Union. Undetected submarines can surface by the coastline and launch missiles to the enemy's ground. 
Aside from its role in protecting the United States sovereign, the submarines also partake in more significant scientific research roles, particularly in an era of melting sea ice. Their operating depth allows them to collect sea ice and ocean observations that are impossible to gather from the surface. The data collected from submarines from the 50s to the 70s shows the sea ice thinned by about 40%. The Arctic has been facing diminishing sea ice extent and thickness, most likely caused by increased maritime activity, including trans-ocean shipping and resource extraction. In the 21st century, the U.S. Navy continues to serve the science community to better understand the North Pole's ongoing changes. Texas. The Arctic Submarine Laboratory superheaded the overall exercise from a temporary ice encampment built on an ice floe. The camp is built on a large, stable ice floe that will support participating submarines, system testings, deploy tracking range, sensors, and test equipment for the exercise. Aside from monitoring the movements of personnel, the multinational common center of the camp also monitors any changes in the weather and ocean environment, as well as movements of assets throughout the exercise. The ISEX also provides multiple agencies the opportunity to hone their skills operating in an unforgiving environment. Hundreds of men and women from the U.S. Navy, Army, Coast Guard, Alaska National Guard, and Allied Forces join the exercise amid emerging competition for the Arctic. About 12,000 pounds of cargo and eight container delivery systems are delivered by the U.S. Air Force, which can bring its own sets of challenges. Trade routes are expected to open, and the region is believed to have vast hydrocarbon and other natural resources. This is a concern as the U.S. exclusive economic zone only guarantees its economic rights within 200 nautical miles of the coast. In January 2021, the U.S. Navy issued a new strategy of operations for its sea services in the Arctic due to the receding sea ice that makes its minerals and biological resources vulnerable to exploitation. The maritime activity in the region is expected to increase as the shorter route offers a fuel-saving option to seafaring companies. The passageways in the Arctic are expected to account for 2% of the world maritime trade and are highly dependent on the weather and ice caps that can be hazardous to vessels. It is clear that ISEX is vital for the U.S. defense in ensuring the safety of its vulnerable coastline in the Arctic. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Woo. This will better prepare the personnel with the knowledge, 
experience, and exposure to the Arctic condition. Covering 6% of the world's surface, the region is expected to witness significant changes in the coming decades. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.